Professor H.T. Theater. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to choose the proper home cinema projector for your home theater or room. And I'm going to go over the various technologies uh, that go into the theater on my mini whiteboard. Uh, we've got the DLP, LCD, and DILA. The DLP technology is digital light processing, and it's basically you find in a lot of low-cost projectors. Uh, Optima uses DLP, and it's called Digital Light Processing by Texas Instruments. You can also find the DLP technology in some of the higher-end projectors, but generally you use three chips instead of the color wheel. In the low-cost projectors, a color wheel will spin with various colors in the projector to give you the illusion of the colors red, green, and blue. In an LCD, you have three chips that will You'll find that in projectors also in the lower end range from say $1,000 to $5,000. And you have a red, green, blue chip. And that is associated with a lot of projectors like Epson, Panasonic, brands like that. The DIL, DILA is the JVC technology. And I'm gonna write that there. JVC technology uh, developed DILA for their own proprietary use in projectors. And you've got projectors that start at around $3,500 and go up to around $13,000. So that's the various technologies. There's no one technology that is the best. It all depends on your situation. We suggest DILA for a higher end home theater room. For somebody with a little less money, the LCD and DLP work really well. DLP has a tendency to really work well in brighter projectors and LCD works well in a little less lumens. Uh, we'll get to lumens, we'll talk about that in a second. The other thing you have to look at when you're looking at for projectors is called resolution. Resolution, Can I spell that soon? I think so. Uh, there's two types, when you're looking at a home theater projector, you're generally looking for a 16 by 9 projector, which is basically a little wider than it is, uh, a lot wider than it is taller. A 16 by 9 looks something like this when it was shot on a screen. And then a 4 by 3 projector would be more square, that would be for more business. And then if you wanted a, a wider 2.35, it would be a little wider, like that. So you'll find resolutions, basically, if you divide the top resolution by the bottom resolution, that will give you your aspect ratio of the projector. So in a, the situation we're in here, say, if you're looking at a 1080p projector, 1080, the resolution would be 1920 divided by 1920, which is by 1080. And the 1080 is the lower, is the vertical resolution. So 1920 by 1080 is basically a 16 by 9 ratio. And so you have 1920 pixels going wide and 1080 pixels that. So if you multiply that, those two numbers, you get the number of pixels the projector puts out, which would be in the millions. The new thing coming down the pipe is now 4K projectors. And what does 4K mean? means this top resolution is now near 4K. So you're looking basically at a 4K resolution is 4, 40, 96 by 20, 6, 2160. 40, 96 by 2160. So now they've doubled the pixels again to come out with a 4K resolution. That would be double the HD resolution you see now, or they call UHD, Ultra HD. And you've got the JVC projectors actually have 4K starting in the 4810 to the 57, and the 67 and the 6710 all have 4K resolution. Why would you want to buy 4K? Because there's not really much material out there. There is new 4K resolution material coming out. Netflix will be broadcasting in 4K some of their streaming, and YouTube is actually looking at 4K. So it's headed towards the 4K resolution. So if you're looking for home theater, 
and you want to have that projector five to seven years, you might want to opt to get the 4K resolution. Uh, the minimum cost you'll be able to spend is probably in the four to $5,000 range for a 4K projector. Uh, you can get any of the 1080s for under $3,000. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to look at is basically lumens. The yeah. next spec that I'm going to talk about is lumens. And lumens is the light output that the projector puts out. Now every projector these days, LCD, DLP, DILA, have a light bulb inside proprietary to that projector. That projector lamp will put out a certain amount of brightness. So what we've got here, uh, a brightness would be like, this light bulb obviously is not going to fit in a projector. But there is light bulbs that do fit in. So the lamp is one something you've got to be careful of because the brighter the projector, the less contrast ratio you'll have. And I'll get in the contrast. So a 3000 lumens projector is bright but will have equals less contrast. And I can't spell it very good because I'm right-handed, not left-handed. Most home theater projectors are between 1,000 and 2,000 lumens, which is bright, but it gives a good contrast ratio at the same time. So just be, bear in mind, when you, the higher the lumens projector, the lower the contrast. So you gotta just uh, keep that in mind. Now DILA projectors will put out a very good contrast at a fairly high lumens, but you won't find any DLA projectors 3000 lumens. They're usually around 1500 in the middle range of this. Now LCD does have high lumens projectors because it's a selling point. But they use something called dynamic iris a dynamic iris, if you look at my eyeball, if I shut my eye partially, I'm blocking light. What the projector lens does in the Epsons and the Panasonics, the lens will block light out during the darker scenes so that the, the contrast ratio goes up, so your black levels. So they're basically taking the lumens down and up based on the projector scene. Whereas the DILA does not do that, nor does the uh, uh, DLP. So you'll see lower spec loom, uh, contrast on most DLP because they do not use dynamic iris. Only the LCD uses that, which is a which I call a trick to improve the contrast ratio score to get more sales of those projectors. I don't really like the trick, to be honest with you. The other thing you're going to have to be worried about when you I'm going to talk about the contrast. Contrast is the next thing I'm going to talk about. Contrast is the difference between black and white. In most movies, you'll find uh, scenes that are are darker, meaning you're at night, or you're in a garage, parking garage, or you're in a cemetery, or you're in some area where you, in the movie it's dark. But how do you see the detail, the shapes, the figures, the people, the objects? When a good contrast ratio projector that has a high contrast will enable you to see those details very well. I think the best projectors that have the high, that perform the best contrast are the DILA because they don't use any tricks like dynamic iris. The next projector would be the LCD and then DLP. Uh, but you gotta remember, Contrast is inverse to light, so if you have a higher lumens projector, 3000 lumens, you're going to have a lower contrast unless you use the dynamic iris function on the LCD. So DLP would be a great projector for low cost, you need a bright room, it's good for 3D because it's bright. LCD would be good mid-range for most rooms, and DLA is the, the best for like dark rooms, great Great contrast, not overly bright, but a light controlled dedicated theater DILA would work the best. Uh, some other uh, features of projectors that you might want to look at are when you buy a projector are the inputs on the projector. If you're going to hook up a DVD player or a cable box, you might want to have at least two HDMI inputs. 
And if you're going to use a computer, you might need HDMI or VGA. So make sure you to check out the inputs of the projector and make sure they handle all the devices. You could also use a switching device like an AV receiver to switch HDMI or some other types of video inputs. The other feature which is nice is the unautomated zoom from the remote and most higher end projectors will have that and automated focus and zoom. So be sure to check those types of features out and a lot of the projectors are now coming out what they call uh, lens presets where you can just hit a preset if you want to go to 235 to 1 which is widescreen or 16 by 9 you can hit a preset so do you, now the uh, thing that we'll think about if you want to do a 2.351 theater is do you want to get an outside lens because most projectors come 16 9 you can get a panamorph lens to take the projector to a 235 to 1 or just use the lens preset so these are the things you want to talk about with your installer or your company that is working with you on what type of projector do I want. It's not that tricky. Home, most home theater projectors that are out there are very well made and are made by good companies. So you can't go wrong with any of the companies. It's just based on budget, what type of room you have, uh, and uh, what type of inputs you're going to need and the features you want on the projector. The other thing that's coming down the pike is something new. It's called the LED projector. The LED projector will last up to 30,000 hours light bulb wise. LCD, DLP, DLA, you're only going to get about 2,000 hours. So in a couple years, three years, you have to change the light bulb out, which is a $300, $400 expense. The problem is LED is very expensive right now in the projectors and you're not seeing many releases in this category yet. You will see more down the future and that would be the way to go because then you won't have to change any light bulbs in the projector. It's a tricky technology to do in projection though. So this is Professor HT Theater talking to you about how to choose the correct projector and we'd like to see you out on htmarket.com because we can help you with that choice and also help you purchase the right projector. Professor HT, thanks a lot.